Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can use calculated fields in an access table. So this is the same database that we were working on in the last session. And if I just open this table, how it's worked, you can see that I've added some calculated fields. So basically, if I add a person onto one of these projects and have some planned hours so let's say there's 25 planned hours and actual hours were 30 no not 330 you can see that the calculation there does a discrepancy now if I put the rate of pay for this particular project let's say it's a hundred pound per hour or hundred pound the cost of that is in the cost column and then the planned budget is what you was planned because you're five hours over you can see that you're 500 pound down so and some of these are in positive figures but these are all calculated fields now if I go into design on this table and have a look at this so discrepancy is a calculated field and if you look at the formula it's basically planned hours minus actual hours the rate is just a type just typing that rate in and then all the rest are calculated so that is actual times rate actual hours times the rate the planned budget is planned hours times the rate and the remaining is planned budget minus the cost so what I want to do is basically go back into there if I copy this table and delete those three uh, four fields out and then we can redo them from scratch so if I just close this down just right click copy the table you should always do this and then paste it so I've got a copy of it that'll do for this so now you can mess about with the copy it's just exactly the same and if you do anything catastrophic you can then just delete the copy but let's uh, and it won't affect the original so I'll leave the rate field and let's just have a look at how I did these three so I'll delete them Yep. Okay. So at the moment, if I have a look at that, we've just got the discrepancy, which is a calculated field, which is just taking away those two. So just remind ourselves on that one. So planned hours minus actual hours. So how does it work? So if we go back and do the first one, we can see. So if I look at the original. So we've got the cost, the rate, and the cost. So what is the cost? The cost, if I go into design, is a calculated field, which is actual times rate. Actual hours times rate. So that's what we want to do. So I'll do the cost field. And I'm going to press tab, and I'm going to start typing CA, and it'll come up with a calculated field. And when I press enter, it comes up with this. So this is, um, the cost is actual hours. So you're looking for actual hours in here, which is at the top. So if you double click on that, times rate. So I'll double click on that. That's what I want. OK. And if you click on there, you see it down the bottom there. So you could actually physically just type that in there. And sometimes I have to do that. So if I save this and have a look. So we've got the cost 30 days at 200 quid, 6,000. That's correct. So the next one we want is going to be the planned budget. So this is going to be planned hours times rate. You can see it there. So if I go back down into that and back into design on this. So, so planned budget is what we're going to call it. So planned budget. And again, I'm going to press tab and type CA and then press enter. So this is going to be planned hours times rate. This is what we think it's going to cost. OK, plan times rate. Save that. Have a look. So planned budget was only 4,000 like so. And then the next one, and the last one we're going to do is what's remaining. So if remaining is going to be planned budget minus cost. So let's do that one. Go back into design. Call it remaining. 
CA, enter, planned budget, minus cost. Okay, let's have a look at that one, save. So you get the some negatives and some positives in there. And the previous session I did conditional formatting when you can create a form that shows it in data sheet and this could all be coloured up. I think this was it. Okay. What's that say? I didn't read that. Let's just close that down. Let's just close that down. There you go. It's just a discrepancy that I did, but the rest of it, all the other ones could also now be coloured up when, on, in a form and you'd better do that. So that was just a quick look at how you do calculated fields, which is fairly straightforward. Uh, there is a limit into the sort of complexity that you can do a calculated field, but for now, that's all I want to look at in this little session. So hopefully that was of use to you. And thank you for your time. I'll see you on the next one.